Alright, okay, so now we will be finding the value of k using the quadratic formula. I was going to write an equation, but it's more like a formula that makes the following equation true. Okay, so the equation is um, x plus 2k times x minus 3k equals x squared plus 2k minus 24. Okay, so the first thing you want to do here is always, always um, just simplify this whole equation as much as possible. Let's try to set it equal to zero. So um, we can distribute this x squared minus kx minus 6k squared equals 2x squared plus 2x minus 24. All right, so um, simplify, simplify, you get um, negative 6k squared minus kx minus 2x plus 24 zero you take out negative you take out negative so you get 6k squared plus kx plus 2x minus 24 and that's equal to zero still okay so the important part here is you have to recognize that in standard form of the standard form of a, of a uh, quadratic x squared plus bx plus c equals zero. You only have a, b, and c. The problem is you have this whole chunk over here. The important part is you have to take this whole chunk and set it equal to c. That's the secret. So when that happens, um, so essentially this whole thing is c. Now. So then you plug it into the quadratic equation. The quadratic equation is defined as um, b. Uh, sorry, um, r rather the quadratic equation is just uh, you know s for some variable it's equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus four ac. It's all over two a. And then when you plug that in, you plug points you will get k sorry so that's just the quadratic point so then it's misleading sorry so okay um let's erase this so now you know when you plug this in equal to negative x plus minus x squared minus 4 times 6 times the c term which is 2x minus 24 and this is x by the way and that's all over 2 times 6 and then when you simplify this whole thing you will believe it or not when you distribute everything you actually get x squared minus 48x plus 576 and then if you're careful you can see that 576 is actually 24 squared and then this is actually a perfect squared trinomial so from that you can see k equals negative x k equals negative x plus minus the square root of x minus 24 squared over 12 and because this is a square under a square root essentially it's just um, x minus 24, so there's two possibilities because it's plus minus. The first one is negative x plus x minus 24 or over 12, which is negative 2. The second possibility is negative x minus x minus 24. And that's
that's over 12 also. And that will just be uh, negative 2x plus 24 all over 12. If you simplify that, you will get um, you will get negative x plus 12 over 6. So the values of k that make the integration true is 2. And there's two, there's two possibilities. k can either be negative 2 or k could be negative x plus 12 over 6. And that will get you full credit.